that was big eye opener i believe that a lot of the eye opening that has happened may have reduced seeding tithing a lot of those you know a lot of those things that the money may not maybe the money is no longer coming as much as it used to maybe that's why i decided to face something else and find another avenue to make money hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so there's a story going around that uh, pastor uh, matthew achimolo matthew achimolo has quit pastoring and has gone into real estate <laughs> sorry I don't know why I'm laughing, sorry. You know, that he has gone into real estate and that he has left his son to be doing the church thing and he has Kukuma just faced real estate. But you know why is interesting is that, you know, this is the man that he has been for the longest time at the forefront of the money, money thing. You know, he's the one that do millionaire conference where church members have to come and pay to attend the conference that so they can become millionaires stuff like that or you know or no 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 i think no what they do is they said you know this offering yeah seed you sow millionaire seed there is seed for different levels of being rich all those kind of things and i remember making video and saying that jesus didn't come to make you rich he came to save your soul that's what he came to do if jesus was all about you see why people don't get it a lot of nigerians will not get it or people from poor countries won't get it the truth is this you the reason you believe that message is because you are poor or you have made it but you are afraid of losing it money is a problem in your life so for that for that reason you want the message about money and i say it and i'll keep saying it if you're already rich let's say for example dangote what message does such a pastor have for you about money when you already have it but the message of salvation is for the rich and the poor. And that is the real message. That is, there was never, Jesus never doubled people's money, bank account. He never went into all of that. It was more about your soul. So poverty is why their message sells so much. If your message only applies to the poor or people that are afraid of losing whatever, that means it's not from Christ. Okay? Now, this man he has this is the man that was you know the one that was preaching and he was like you know he was talking about he always talk about money you know how can people there was some if i'm not mistaken it was one that was preaching and said imagine all these people that go to work nine o'clock and close at five and he was singing this song nine to five and basically mocking the idea of working nine to five because as far as he's concerned there are big there are easier ways to make money than having to work nine to five somebody have to do the nine to five job and you you know people forget to not everybody wants to be stinkily rich whatever some people just love their job go to work clothes go home and have a very very simple life some people are happy with or content is the word some people are content with their basic life as far as they have their mortgage being paid their uh, food is not a problem you know oh shoot my camera was acting up i fixed it now okay so let me show you guys um, let me actually show you this interesting part towards the end i'm reading this from the guide and i'm going to read sections so you can go read the full article but i want to point out a few things for example they hear at the end towards the end it says he says he prayed he prayed that his son would be anointed and favored by god he is praying that his son will be anointed and favored by god so that means his son is not yet favored and is not yet anointed by God. Abi, is he not the one that ordained his son to become the whatever? It wasn't the one that anointed his son to take over. It was he not the one? Now he's now praying. Two days ago, this article. Abi, let me see. Yeah, let me see how old this article is. Oh, shoot. Yeah, oh, yesterday. As I yesterday, he's still at this point praying that God should anoint his son. So you're telling me that as big as the church is, there's no one that God has anointed that he had to shook his son and start praying after he already <laughs> sorry. After he already shook his son in. He now started praying that God he said he prayed that his son will be anointed and favored by God and that God will use him to draw his own generation to God. Right? And to shake systems. Now he was praying that God would anoint his son. So that means his son is not anointed. He prayed that his son, he did not say his son is. You know, when I tell people that this church thing is family business, they go say this, that, that. It is a family business. You cannot tell me that in the whole church, nobody that God has called. You know the building that Ikoyi 
It was a 10 story building that collapsed. He had to, there was one time, uh -huh, was, his name was mentioned along the story of whatever. Because he has always emphasized, do you know how old this man is? I think the root is, his age was somewhere there. At his age, he's still chasing money and chasing money. You know, as a tell owner, the Bi uh, not Bible, this is my saying in my language is that a cool way to have for earthly wealth never satisfies. Never. No matter how much they have it, the more they will chase it. KICC Pastor Faseru debunks Ashimolowo's rumored retirement to face business. So they're saying that he retired from church to go and face business. Sorry, guys. And uh, then he says, the national superintendent of. No, I want to read what they. Okay. Faseru, in a statement, eh? On, on Tuesday, this is the basically the church spokesperson, right? Said the 71 year old televangelist had no any plan to quit his service as a preacher in the Lord's vineyard. Okay, they try to they are debunking it. He said that Pastor Ashimolo was still preaches between three, between between three and four times in different parts of the world. Between three and four times. Three or four times a month, or a, I don't know. But anyway, down he says there is no iota of truth in the insinuation that Ashimolowo may have quit uh, preaching the gospel to concentrate on real estate business. The report ha has absolutely baseless. Okay, now this is the interesting part. He said he said Ashimolo uh, he said Ashimolowo held the groundbreaking of a Macarius luxury place. An up market mixed development seated on 33 acres in Ibeju Leki area of Lagos with fanfare in uh, with fanfare in February 2023. This project may be what mischief makers have taken out of context without cross-checking available information. You see that the rumor came from somewhere. It's possible people have, it's possible. I know they go to their church, but it's possible that they, maybe he's no longer seen in church as much as they used to. He's busy. Maybe he's just busy, you know, uh, building this one, building that one. He speaks a lot about real estate. He speaks a lot about money. He speaks a lot about all of these things. And let me tell you something else that came to my mind. I believe, sorry, I believe that, you know, in recent years, a lot of exposing has happened. A lot of social media has done so much that people were coming out and speaking up so much about, you know, what they call greed in the in the so-called churches, where they just take and take from the poor. They are so-called seed sowing and uh, all of those seed sowing and first seed and second seed and all of those, whatever they call them, they have been exposed so much. It's possible. I'm just saying. You know, say this life, eh, where market no sell again, business man go look for another way. I am thinking that because there's so much exposing going on about the church things, a lot of people have, let me tell you guys, there are a lot of people that have, you see the tithing of a thing, a lot of people have stopped it. A lot of people are sitting back and looking and COVID did not help because COVID, COVID opened people's eyes. That a pastor that comes and tell you guys, you know, you know, about money, money, money. They can, if they pray for you, if you sow this seed, your money will double, you sow this seed and all of those big, whatever they claim they can do. And then COVID came. I always say it, COVID came. It chased all of us in the house, including pastors. And people, people began to see like, oh, okay, wow. You claim you can double money. You claim your prayer and see so you can do this and all of that. And COVID came. All those powers you guys claim to have, where is it? When I follow Roy, enter. <laughs> Sorry, not only that they enter house, even from their homes, they were still trying to make sure they still collect. People were not working. They were still trying to collect money from people. People were not working. They say your ten percent is your a bit from your income, right? People were not earning any income, and they were still told to still pay tithe, even though they were not working. A lot of they were not in work, no income. So there's no income. So where is the ten percent coming from? That was big eye opener. I believe that a lot of the eye opening that has happened may have reduced seeding, tithing, a lot of those, you know, a lot of those things that the money may not, have, maybe the money is no longer coming as much as it used to. Maybe that's why they decided to face something else and find another avenue to make money. Uh, that's what I think, I think, you know, uh, I think is going on. But um, you see, the salvation we speak about is a personal thing. Pick up your Bible. I always say it. The Bible says we should look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. It didn't say look unto your pastors. And then look, if I say, if you look at the life of your pastor and you look at the life of Christ and you don't see similarities, sit down and ask yourself, what Christ are they talking about? 
Jesus didn't live a lavish lifestyle. He never preached money or earthly gains and all of these things. I always say it, we don't know how a lot of these pastors, they started. It's possible they started with good intention to serve God, but what the devil did was to pull them away with the love of money. And then all of a sudden, focus became money rather than the things of God. Anyways, I don't know, that's that, that's the latest news or rumor, depending on who you're asking, about uh, uh, Pastor Matthew Ashimolowo uh, quitting pastoring to go into uh, real estate. Do you guys believe that truly he has quit pastoring to become a, a, a businessman, a real estate, or do you think it's just a rumor that is not true? Whatever your opinions are, please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye.